Welcome to Subtraction Tuesday. All right, yesterday we talked about addition, and like always, Tuesdays we talk about subtraction. Well, subtraction's just like that. It's just like addition. It's a pattern. So if I have a number, 49 minus 23. I could do, I could connect my ones and connect my tens. Nine minus three, four minus two. Well, sometimes it gets a little crazy when we get to the bigger numbers. So like yesterday, I'm gonna show you how to do what's called vertically. Vertically just means up and down, okay? Vertically. So we have 49. And 23. Now, because I don't like to get it, to get confused, because it's much harder to do your math if you're confused. So I'm going to separate my numbers. I'm going to draw a line. Okay? Now, that just means here's the ones, here's the tens column. Ones go with ones, tens go with tens. So 9 minus 3, 9 minus 3 is 6, 4 minus 2, 2. Now you say, well, what happens if I have a bigger number, Miss Burke? Well, it's the same thing we just talked about yesterday. I could add, I could actually make this a 7 and this a 9. But I want to draw my line separating them. Remember the different rooms. I could even add another one. I could make it eight and three. But it's minus, so remember minus means subtraction, take away. Numbers get smaller. Okay, I'm gonna do it backwards to reading. I'm gonna go start with a small and get big. So, 9 minus 7 is 9. Always got my handy dandy tools. 9, take away 7. 5, 6, 7. Another 2. 8, take away 3. 8, take away 3. Well, I know that's right. Uh, a full hand makes 5. Okay. 8 minus 3 is 5. This line across here is kind of like your equal sign for a vertical problem. 8 minus 3 equals 5. Now, let's try one more, and we're going to try simple. We're going to start this horizontally, then we're going to do a vertical, then we're going to do a number bond to see if we're right. Okay. So I have the number 87 minus, how about 20, no, let's do 32, okay? Now, first step, that's right, connect the ones. Second step, connect the tens. Okay, now I'm going to stop there. I could finish the problem, but I'm going to turn it into a, the vertical problem right now. 87 minus 32. Excellent. Good job. I'm going to separate them into their different rooms. Ones, because the word one begins with an O. T tens begins with a T. Awesome job. Okay, I'm not gonna do it, the answer yet. I wanna show you all the different ways. Okay, here's our number bond. We know that when we do a number bond and it's subtraction, the first number is gonna go up here. Our second number goes down here. Whatever the answer goes over there. Now, let's do one at a time. Seven minus two. 
seven, take away two, that leaves five, eight, take away three, leaves five. Well, we have 55 from this one. Let's see if this one's the same. Seven minus two, seven. I'm gonna do a strategy called counting backwards. Seven, six, five. When I put up two fingers, I know I'm done. And I said the number five. Now, eight, take away three. I'm gonna count backwards again. Eight, and I'm gonna get up three fingers. Eight is in my brain. Seven, six, five. 55. Now we're going to put 55 here. And this is how we check it. We see if we could add these two numbers together to get that one. 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8. Subtraction is so simple. Great job for today. We will be doing, yep, algebra tomorrow. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. Same bat station, same bat time. Bye.